another special package is supposed to get in today. Hi there, we're Bo and Brandy, and along with our salty dog Una, we live here on our floating home Sersha. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to take a second to hit the subscribe button to follow along. And a big thanks to all of our patrons. You truly make this production possible. We hope you enjoy this episode. What are you doing, lovey? So I am getting ready and filling out all the paperwork for our trip down south. We are actually heading to St. Vincent and the Grandines. If you guys didn't catch our live, we did switch our plans from heading from Grenada or heading down to Grenada to heading to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We're doing that for a couple of reasons. The first reason being that we didn't spend a whole lot of time in the St. Vincent and Grenadines last year. We actually only hung out in one small area, so we have a lot to explore. Second, it's pretty darn close to being below the hurricane belt. And third, and the biggest, would be that Miss Una doesn't have to go through 14 days of quarantine. If we had gone down to Grenada, we'd have to spend 14 days on board, then take a test, so we'd have to wait a couple extra days for the test, and then once we pass the COVID test, we would be free to roam. I just don't want to put her through that if we can choose not to. The SVGs opened up and said, we don't have to quarantine. We even can be able to take a test here in the USVIs and be able to take it down with us. So no quarantine at all. Only the days traveled at sea, which is really a way better plan for us. Speaking of plans, we have a ton of work that we gotta get done before we leave. Lovey! I think we should make a list. Oh boy. <laughs> Install the bilge pump. Fix the bimini. Replace the chain plate. We've got one coming. Flip the chain. We've had this pump for a little bit. We need to get this guy installed before we head down to the SVGs. When we got the crack, we did have a secondary pump, but it failed on us, although it was working before we left. So this is the replacement. This guy's brand new, and I wanna have it all ready to go. That way we're not putzing around with it in an emergency. I'm gonna mount the primary and the secondary to a platform and secure that down at the bottom of the bilge. That way they're not floating around. Currently the primary isn't anchored down anywhere so it is kind of floating around a bit. I wanted to show you guys what I'm working with for the Bimini. <laughs> It looks like a wreck, doesn't it? So when we first got this Bimini, it was something that we purchased just for temporary when we first got the boat, just to give us some cover. It's actually held up pretty well, but this pink material is actually what it was made out of. If you guys notice, I sewed this on the underside and this part just recently ripped. And it ripped where I actually had put some old patches on, but the boom has been rubbing spots on it, so Bo's gonna fix that with the topping lift. Now, I'm going to put on top of this gray material. I'm upcycling. It's an old stack pack, actually came from our friends off of SV Breeze. We don't wanna put a lot of investment into a bimini because we may end up getting a hard bimini or making a hard bimini. I, I like up upcycling. I mean, of course it would be great to have something new, but the amount of money that we'd have to spend to put into that doesn't make sense for us, especially when it's lasted this long and if I can make it better, great. And we need more we need to spend that money elsewhere. 
like a new head sail. This is gonna be another stronger temporary fix. Right now, I have to just put this back on and repen it and bring it back into the sewing machine and stitch up some more. We actually need a couple of windows in it because we'd like to see the wind vane because right now we only have one little hole. We got some window material from our friends off of SB Mai Tai and uh, so more upcycling. We used to have a hole and you could only see the wind vane if we were on attack. Um, if the boom was in the middle, forget about it. You had no idea what you were doing. As you can see, I'm kind of half in the process, but I can't wait to show you the final product. It's gonna look way better. It looks better already, and I haven't even sewn anything. <laughs> just wanted to make sure I had enough material and cut out all the patterns, and now I just have to get to sewing. <laughs> but the hardest part is gonna try to be trying to get these windows in here, I know it. <sighs> that's an all day process. When you don't have a pattern, that's what happens. But I'm only working with what I got. So now I just have to figure out how to sew this all together and hopefully we'll come out with a nice, stronger, beautiful bimini. Seamstress Brandy at your service. So when they say projects take all of your blood, sweat, and tears, they're not joking. I'm bleeding on our fabric. Because clearly I don't know how to put pins in the right way. <laughs> now that this guy is all wired up, well mostly wired up, I'm gonna take this starboard and cut it out to fit the bottom of the bilge. And basically just mount the two little guards to make it fit. But somehow the day got away from us and the sun is already setting. But and it started raining on my bimini. <laughs> but still working on it. It's wet, but what can you do? And the cockpit threw up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, it's gorgeous. Since it's getting so late, we'll leave you guys with the beautiful sunset and see you in the morning. Good morning, well, good afternoon. Brandy and I were up late working on our projects. I pretty much got mine done. I made my little bracket and I got it all wired up. So we do have a secondary pump. But while I was down there, I was having some difficulty trying to maneuver our primary one because the bilge hose that's on there is so old that it just won't move. So I gotta replace it. But I think Brandy's still working on the Bimini. Let's go check it out. doing this in the wind <laughs> but this is my very last panel it's actually been very kind to me recently because there was no wind yesterday but I've been a little bit picky about it because I don't want it to sag I'm trying not to be perfectionist about it because I'm sure we'll probably get something new or or something different in the long run but I've had to unstitch a couple things and restitch them <sighs> I have come to the realization this is gonna definitely take me all day but that's okay. 
I just want to get it done right. What are you What are you doing today? Well, another special package is supposed to get in today, so I'm gonna dinghy across the bay, pick that up. But before that, I'm probably gonna take care of the rest of the anchor chain. Do a little swappy, swappy roo. Number four, number on the four list. Number four on the list. Yeah, we're kind of going out of sequence, but no big, no biggie. Get them all done. Change of plans. What? The package came in. Already? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So I'm not gonna be getting to the chain swap. Oh, I mean, it's not gonna take you long anyways, is it? Nah, it'll take, I don't know. Yeah, not long. All right. Cool, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm gonna run into town. Good. What do we got? What do we got? We got what we've been waiting for. Shall we give a hint to what it is? I think everybody knows, but sure. It goes up there. Goes somewhere right about here. All right, let's get this bad boy <laughs> opened. Hopefully it fits. I mean, we're not really gonna be able to tell until we pull this guy off, but. Get an idea. Yeah. It should be, it should be close. Close enough that we could modify at least. Jeez, I can't even. Well done packaging this, Jeremy. <laughs> Jeez. Straight up tape. <laughs> Oh yeah, nice and beefed up. Long John Welding, thank you very much. And Eddie, thank you as well. Tag team effort. We just wanna take a minute right now and say thank you to all of you guys who reached out to us to try to help us with the chain plate. We super appreciate it. We're so grateful that Jeremy came through and really quickly, he I think put this in the mail on Thursday or Friday and it just got here and it's Monday so and he's in Canada <laughs> so hopefully everything works out if not we'll have to ship it back to him and they can fix it up but he's very confident we're very confident nice nice and thick much thicker than the old one this should not crack <laughs> So we, just to see what we're dealing with, we are gonna take off the old one and just test fit it and see what we're working with here. And as you can see, the sun is going down. So that means we leave you here. <laughs> we'll try to get some night photos, but no promises. Unfortunately, you don't get to stay up till midnight plus with us <laughs> trying to test fit this. So until tomorrow. Last night went well. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. I was able to get that bracket to fit like a glove. Had to do a few <laughs> tweaks here and there, but 
it'll be nice once it's installed. I do want to polish it. I'm probably not going to be able to get a mirror finish on it, but I, I want to polish it to help reduce the corrosion. I don't really have all the tools necessary, so do need to run into town to get all that stuff. But the wind's going to be light today, so I need to go up the mast and replace the topping lift. And I'd like to swap out the chain as well. Two, so, two, two for one. Two. Well, maybe I can... I'll at least maybe start polishing today. Um, but I, I'm limited on the sandpaper that I have, so... I was looking it up on YouTube, and it's pretty involved. You gotta sand it, like, with, I don't know, five or six different pieces of sandpaper. So once we're done with dishes, we need to get to it, because we got a lot to do. Swapping out this anchor chain is not really that important. I want to do it now while we're on a mooring ball. This area is the first place we've moored ever since we started sailing. And I don't see us mooring when we go south. So I'd much rather get this done now, opposed to trying to do it when we have anchors down and stuff. The chain definitely is corroding a little faster where it's hitting the stainless steel. So I'm gonna cut a couple links off. How rusty this chain is. Hopefully the other end isn't so bad. The chain all the way in here stinks something serious. So I gotta clean it now. But I am laying it out kinda neat. That way it's easier to put back in. Now that that's done, I'm gonna let this chain dry and let's go check, see how Brandy's doing. Bimini top, no Brandy. Hmm. Love Buna Bear, you see mommy? You know where she went?
There she is. Got distracted by a squirrel. I mean a turtle. It's getting pretty late in the day, so I'm not gonna have time to go up this mast. So instead, I need to polish these guys. I don't have to polish them, but I'm doing it just to add extra protection from corrosion. I think that might be, that didn't help with our last set. I didn't have them polished. I mean, technically I should have the bimini done too, but turtles? <laughs> This is going to take a while, but uh, I think I'm just going to hit it up with this 80 grit, then 220, and then maybe some 400, and then start polishing. I know you're supposed to use more steps and probably even use like 3000 grit, but I think this will do the job. <laughs> I found one of your pins. <laughs> well, more Sorry. like it found me. Whoops. Here you go. You got an extra Hazards one. of the job. <laughs> Good morning guys. We are gonna climb the mast today. Well I am. So I need to set up this little purchase system. Because I can't lift it. Yeah, because I weigh a ton of bricks. And we don't have electric winches. And, and yeah. Excuse, excuse, excuse. Right, <laughs> so I'm gonna set up a four to one. That way, I'm light as a feather for Brandy. <laughs> but we need to replace this wonky temporary uh, topping lift. I'm gonna set it up to where it also has a purchase. That way it's not so hard to raise and lower. And you're replacing the line? Oh, we need to replace all our running line, or all our running rigging. Are you going to do that when you're up there? No, we can do that from the deck, but okay. it's just something that escaped me. Well, but it's pretty important. While you're up there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I should check out everything, make sure all the hardware is good. This is it! I think I'm done. Not all the way done, but I have some trim to do, but I think we're done. This is what happens when you turn a stack pack into a bimini. <laughs> Can you help me put it up? Sure. Windows. You can see. <laughs> yes. What we wanted to be able to see the wind vane. Oh, perfect. Good job, lovey. So, of course, as soon as we get this up, we have to take it down because Bo needs to lower the, the boom in order to get this topping lift done. <sighs> it was short lived, but we'll be able to experiment with it when we go sailing. I'm just so glad it's done. 
Somehow the day escaped us. Yet again. Yet again. So another sunset. Project. <laughs> yeah. why I normally go up. I don't have any boys. Plus you can get all the way up. That purchase system gets in the way. Alright. Pretty much done. But I still need to take care of the chain plate. I'll probably just go ahead and install it tonight. Not even worry about the polish until I can get all the materials. Like the right sandpaper. I do have polishing stuff, but uh, I need to sand it a bunch more times. And we need to get to St. Croix soon. And then, so we can stage up to get down south. All right, night guys. I'll show you the chain plate tomorrow. He's so tired. I am very tired. <laughs> the sun just like zaps you. The only thing we changed was the thickness. We went from quarter inch to three eighths, which is gonna help with all the stress. This guy should not get any cracks in it, at least for a while, hopefully. But happy is done, now we can go sailing. Yeah.